Roads in the U.S. have gotten considerably more deadly for a variety of reasons. It's time to slow down, pay attention, and stop driving aggressively. People need to slow down, pay attention, and stop driving aggressive. Uh, so TomTom Tom did a uh, study in, in European countries and uh, they found that uh, aggressive driving is up 200% since the shutdown and speeding is up over 40%. So there's some of the issue, but there are a number of other issues. So in 2021, the numbers are finally out and we found that there are going to be over 46,000 people lost their lives just in the U.S. And we haven't seen numbers like that in a long, long, long time. It's 90% higher than what it was in 2019. This is during the time when people were not driving as much. And at a point when the vehicles have the advanced driver assistance systems, which you know, is supposed to keep you from crashing, that actually might be a contributing factor. And let me, sounds contrary, but it isn't. People are too dependent on their 8S. They're too dependent. Well, if I have lane departure, it will correct me. If I, if I have automatic brake assist, I really don't have to pay attention. And then when I see commercials where people are doing this, as they're driving down the road and they're all looking at each other and laughing and not touching the wheel because it has this auto drive feature, that, wor that worries me. People are too dependent on it. We're not there yet. I wish. <laughs> I wish we were totally autonomous. And that would mean that thousands of people don't die every year. I would, I would invite, I would go get another job. But we're not there yet. And, and the numbers have proven that out. That's one thing. The other thing is that during the shutdown, I think people, there, I think that we have a mental health crisis. I don't just think in the U.S., I think everywhere. During the, during the shutdown, people start having issues and they start self-medicating with whatever, whether that be alcohol or drugs or whatever combination. And now they're addicted and they're driving. Mm -hmm. So I think that's an issue. I think you'll find, once we look at the, the numbers for 2021, I think you'll find that a lot of it involves impairment. And then also, and I don't care which way you fall down, whether you think marijuana should be legalized or not, but with the legalization and, and, and really just the acceptance of marijuana use more and more in the U.S. There are 17 states now that have legalized marijuana. And every state that has legalized recreational marijuana, the studies have shown that the fatality rates will just go right up as a result of marijuana impairment. So the marijuana impairment fatalities have, I think in Colorado it's up 154%. Who didn't see that coming? Mm -hmm. you know, but I think there's a tax revenue and it's going to sweep across the country. Everybody's going to get it. That's an issue. Uh, also, I think people became addicted to using their electronics because that was their only point of contact when they were shut down with, with the COVID shutdown. Mm -hmm. And that is an addiction as well. And uh, now they're, they're not getting off their phones. They're texting, tweeting, emailing. <laughs> Watch a TikTok video, how many times you see people driving down the road doing a recording while they're driving, mm -hmm. and they have kids sitting in the back. It's child abuse. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. But that's happening, Ted, and it's, just, it's, it's scary to me. People are using their electronics even more, and which is it's just scary. Also, during the shutdown, when the roads were, there wasn't as much traffic, people began to speed. I think you'll find that a lot of the speeding uh, crashes were, uh, the crashes were speeding uh, related also because speed kills. I mean, after, after 50 miles per hour, every 10 mile per hour increase in speed, you double your chances of, 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 of a fatality. It gets to a point where it's not survivable. And I think that also see, is driving is, is a series of habits, and we develop our habits from the first time we sit down behind the wheel. And I think some people develop the speeding habit. Now that there are more cars on the road, they're still speeding. So there are a lot of issues going on here as to why I think that uh, we're still having major, major issues. I've never, well, I shouldn't say I've never, I haven't seen numbers like these and the number of really just serious, just violent crashes since I started in police department in the 80s.